Hi, this is Michael Hendershot, KJ4 FEQ. I am making this video in two parts. Basically, I want to test this Cam Studio open source recording software to see if I can record the my mouse actions and my text and things like that and put it on YouTube. That's the first part. Second thing is why not do a real life uh, demonstration of how WinLink via VHF UHF works because a lot of people will ask well what does it look like that type of thing so this is merely a demonstration of me sending an email out uh, WinLink. Basically I have the website for the Cam Studio open source here if you're interested to play with it. Looks like it's pretty cool software and uh, hopefully this works out to be a good one. It doesn't cost anything though that's even better. The program we're going to be using today to actually send the the information out over the frequencies is called WinLink. WinLink enables the amateur operators to be able to send email via VHF, UHF, or HF. We're pretty much going to focus on on the VHF <coughs> at this point. If you want the software, what you do is you go down to the WinLink.org site up here in the URL and you click on software and there's something called user software. This is the um, this is where we'll get our downloads and, when, and the page loads. The second one on the list is called PackLink. PackLink is what we're using for VHF, UHF, packet radio at this point. So let me give you a quick demonstration. Let me just minimize this. So the first thing I'm going to do is launch my PackLink program and you see when it comes up it searches for all available sites. The CMS sites are where we're where it actually pulls our mail from. There's four or five of them across the uh, world and it'll actually connect to those and download our email for us. And I'm opening up my Outlook. Now this is going to be going out my radio. I have a FT7800R and a AEA TimeWave PK96 TNC that I'm using so it's going to start is going to use the radio and download the download the mail and send a mail. If you look at the pack link screen on the right you'll see it says pop three link from KJ4 FEQ. This is strictly just telling you when um, the client checked. So if I hit send receive on Outlook what you'll notice is on the right side you'll see that my Outlook client goes out and checks email. And all, all it does is a pack link, do you have any messages for me that you've downloaded? In this situation, I have none, so nothing appears here. So here's how we would do it. I would, I would hit new, and I'm going to send it to a friend of mine, K4IFX. So I'm going to do a... So basically I'm going to give a shout out to K4IFX and KC9TET, Tactical Gearhead. He actually gave me some idea, he's been encouraging me and to do some videos so I figured what a cool way to do it would be to show how some amateur radio software works. So I've typed in my message, put in my subjects, like any standard email, I hit send. Now on the right side, Packlink received my mail in blue and you can see that the message is sitting there. This software can be automatically conf configured to send and receive and everything. Right now I have it manual because I was testing out a new WinLink mail drop today. We basically have these what they call WinLink switches around town. So what happens is I can, there's one on the hospital here where I live and there's one um, toward the St. Augustine area. So what happens is I can connect to either one and send and receive email. So here's how it would work. I'm, I'm going to manually, manually ha have this go in and check email. So I want to go to Orange Park Hospital. And when I do that, my TNC is going to connect and start checking for email and uh, it'll send my email also. So the first message we see is connected with station WD4SCN-10. And then you'll see my conversation my TNC is having with the 
mail switch. As you can see, uh, it says sending, and it disconnected. That's as simple as it is to uh, get a WinLink message. And if I actually received a message, like this is one I received yesterday, I would double click on it and it comes up and here's a message that I actually received from a WinLink, person on WinLink. This is actually a bulletin to everybody though. So that's our demonstration for how WinLink works. So I hope everybody enjoyed it and uh, hope you learned something. And my goal is to start putting some of these out to about configuration because that's a lot of questions I get is how do you configure WinLink? So next video I'd like to do is on configuration. So thank you very much and have a great evening.